Hi guys, welcome back. Coffee and biscuits tonight. Just looking at some of the footage from the last couple of days. And if you remember in the last video, uh, the next phase of the GPX 300 TSE build was the suspension. That was uh, the most important thing we need to get sorted out. Um, the other couple of things were the hand guards needed going on the on the, the wrap rounds, the plastic shields, and the billet radiator braces. They're both on now, and uh, the billet radiator brace, they're really super impressed with them. Um, 60 quid for a billet radiator guards. I know they've gone up a little bit in price since I got those. I fit them on the bike, and they are rock solid. So I'm really impressed with those. So billet radiator guards, and guards on, and uh, suspension now. Now, yesterday, Tuesday, it's Wednesday night now, um, we set about looking at the rear shock. Now, when you look at the GPX suspension, it is in essence a WP clone. Um, the WP suspension will go into a GPX, and the GPX suspension will go into a WP equipped bike, KTM, Gas Gas, whatever. Um, whether it's linkage or non linkage, depending on which bike you've got. But they are all sort of interchangeable components for use. It's only when you start getting into the internals of these uh, components that there are some slight changes or subtle differences shall I say and we found that over the last couple of days with the shock and with the front forks now they're not great uh, differences but they are differences where it will prevent you uh, sharing components shall we say so with the the rear shock the plan was uh, bladder kit on the rear shock and to lower it which all went surprisingly quite well actually there was no no problems with that we uh, with my colleague Nick Sanson at Eurotech Nick's the expert when it comes to uh, suspension taking the lead on on the more technical work I mean I, I can do a lot of things with the bikes Nick has taught me quite a lot uh, since I've been working at Eurotech but when it comes to the more technical type work Nick takes the lead and he's more proficient he's done a lot He's got more experience of doing it, um, and he's he's very familiar with all the tools that are required for those specialist jobs, and he can do them quite quickly. Uh, and it's it's nice to see him work actually. So with the uh, the rear shock, uh, the K tape bladder kit went on straightforward enough, and I always like to have the rear shock lowered on the the bike. You know, it's like in those. Uh, more technical scenarios where you need to get a foot down having that little bit of extra inch or so make, can make all the difference between getting up something or falling off or whatever so Nick uh, stripped the shock absorber down and the only sort of difference we could find between the GPX SZC shock absorber and the uh, WP equivalent was that the internal bore of the shock body was slightly different size and I'm talking like 0.25 of a millimeter if that we found that out by uh, we had a K-Tech uh, piston which was a replacement piston for a WP unit and we tried fitting that into the shock and it was just too tight and it started to go in but it was just like I say fractionally too tight so I would say maybe you know 0.2 of a millimeter if that at the, the very most so that that's the only sort of difference we found with the uh, the SSZ GPX shock absorber so in terms of what we wanted to achieve we did achieve it we lowered it and we, we fitted a bladder kit so rear shock aside now front forks I went into Eurotech this morning spent a few hours there strip the forks down uh, to see what we can do with them now my intention was like i said before to look at the the conversion doing a compression and rebound on both fork legs to see if we could we could achieve that what we found was once we got the fork legs stripped the actual base valves that we were going to be using uh, which which we build up which have got clicks in the bottom were a slightly different thread size so it wasn't actually possible to fit those so i've just had to settle for at this moment in time changing the springs and uh, putting fresh oil in there and we'll just see where we go with the setup 
So the only other thing that I will say is that the internals, um, the centre tube was made of steel, whereas on the WP unit it would be aluminium. So in terms of weight, they are very, very close. I would say that the SSC GPX fork is maybe just slightly heavier, and that's probably down to that, that single steel tube in the centre. But overall, I would say they're very, very close in weight. And, you know, we're going to be doing a way off at some point when the bike's finished to see how it would compare with uh, one of the other bikes in the showroom. Um, so that's where we're at, at the moment. The next thing is going to be the exhaust guard. Thought long and hard about exhaust guards. What, what am I going to go for? And uh, I finally settled on the Artifon. Uh, exhaust guard. I've, I've had Artifon products before, they're good products, um, tried and tested and that's what we're getting. So that'll be here hopefully next week and once that's on the bike's going to be pretty much good to go so that's it at the moment. Stay tuned, Harry Dura and Adventure Media at Eurotech. Back next week guys, see you soon.